people are very anxious for more, more, more right oh, away. Yeah, for sure. And there are things happening behind the scenes that are really, really positive, but they're not things that can be made public because they would completely be derailed if that happened. Yeah. And eventually, I think we're going to see more really positive developments happening. Positive develop? But what do what do we you mean now? Now I'm going to grill you the way you were grilling us. What, what, <laughs> I don't positive mean to be in, positive you. in positive in what way? Reality, well, I mean baby. in the way that your your co-hosts were just mentioning, and what they call disclosure. And I'll put that in quotes. I mean, this may be a step in that in quite some kind of official acknowledgement. I'm just saying I think there's going to be more and there's going to be more support for, for this kind of uh, investigations to happen. Well, because, I'd like, because I got to tell you, whoa, 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 can wait, I just share? Wait, no, 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 ahead, no, no, no. I got a yeah, question yeah. for Alex. I'm going to roll it back to Alex because obviously Alex feels that, and then I'm going to ask Graham the same question, but Alex already feels like we've passed that sort of point in history that we're going to look back on. So I'll ask, I'll ask Alex and Graham the same question. Alex, when was that point in history that we're going to look back on and say this is that point in history where, you know, it started? Because obviously well, both of you think we've passed it, I think, right? Well, I, I guess I'm going to answer that with the same little anecdote that I was going to say before. It's the soccer dad story. So I'm out watching my daughter's high school soccer game. And kind of like your story, this guy comes walking over to me because he knows I'm interested in this stuff, you know, <laughs> exactly. in general. Right. Yeah. Right. And he says... Hey, you know what? Now listen to his spin on it. He goes, I can't believe I saw this story on UFOs in the New York Times. And then it just went away. What's up with that? Why did it go away? <laughs> that was his take unprompted. I didn't say anything. So then I went through the whole thing and I said, well, you know, there's kind of a lot to it. And, you know, you might want to look at this and you might want to look at this guy right from San Diego here from Blink-182 and how he's come out and he was fed all this information and all the rest of this. And he's pushing out through his organization, the whole thing. And his head was just spinning. But the point is, is twofold. One, what people picked up on is that one, this is the biggest story in history, but everyone kept sitting around waiting for the fallout. And when it didn't it, yeah. happen, everyone was like, what the heck just happened? So I, I guess I'd throw that back to you, Leslie. What the heck just happened? Because I'll give you the conspiratorial version of what happened. Is uh -huh. they were trying to do something. They were trying to run some kind of program. Not that the information wasn't true. Not that you got duped. Not that the video isn't real. It's all real. But the way that it came out had a certain intended purpose. And maybe that intended purpose didn't quite work out the way they anticipated. And now there's some kind of repositioning, what do we do next kind of thing. So rip that apart. That's a crazy conspiracy idea. But why the real part of it is, why didn't this take off? Why didn't this happen? This is the biggest story in history. Why didn't it happen in a bigger way? Well, or what you're saying is, why hasn't there been more stories that have followed, right? I mean, it's, no, it's, from no. my position, there that's my own, my only interest is to try to do more stories. Well, well but but hold on, no, that's no, not no. I, I think you he's know, look, talking about people look, like you know. Now that this comes out, you think there'd be a lot yeah. more digging into actual cases and going back, and there'd be more oh, of an overarching exactly. story about UFOs. Oh, I mean, exactly. Well, that has to do with ago, other reporting. Ago, we're yes. All talking Two years ago, when we were all talking about disclosure, and you listen to Gramerica, and you listen to, like, their interview with Richard Dolan, right? And he wrote the book, After Disclosure, and all that. And he's pretty well-respected in the research uh, UFO research community. What the whole point of that book was, hey, as soon as there's disclosure, the questions will not stop. There will be, well, what about this? What about back in the 1950s when this came out and this happened? What about this one? What about that one? Where were these other? There was... And all that made sense to all of us. We all said, yeah, that's probably why there will never be disclosure, because once they disclose, the questions from the investigative media will not end. All that was completely wrong. None of that happened. There's been zero interest slash follow up from the people we rely on to do well, that. And there's a question there. Why did that? Why is that going on? Well, well yeah, how mean, much of that is because the the main it seems to me like a lot of the leading experts today have abandoned nuts and bolts. So, I mean, you've got a whole half of the UFO community now that's kind of doesn't think, I, my opinion is that doesn't think the government has any better of a handle on it than 
Grant Cameron does. Or Leslie. Right. I mean, I'm King. not, I'm not, I have, you know, I have to tell you, I'm not part of the UFO community and I don't follow everything that they're dealing with online. So I'm not, Alex probably knows more about what they're all saying <laughs> than I do. But, um, you know, there's just so much you guys are saying. Um, in terms of follow up, we, um, you know, every journalist out there, including Politico, The Washington Post, we all want to do more stories on this. And we're all working on it. But so far, we don't have the material we need to do another story and to, to satisfy the editors at The New York Times. Right. But we are in the process of digging into stuff with the hopes of doing that and the intention of doing that. And I think there are other journalists out there doing that, too. Please check out the Skeptico website. You can see it here. We cover a lot of different stuff you might be interested in relating to controversial science and spirituality. A lot of shows up there, over 350 of them or so, all free, all available for download. So do check it out. <laughs> <laughs>